Welcome back, my dear students. I am going to discuss on the topic spicules in sponges. Skeletal structure of the sponges are spicules and spongin fibers. Spicules are formed by carbonate of lime or silica in the form of needle-like, while the spongin fibers that are composed of silk-like scleroproteins. The spicules uh, constitute major part of the skeletal system, which are secreted by special type of the mesenchyme cell. That cell is a scleroblast. They are in the shape of spines or rays that radiate from the center. Spicules possess a core of organic material around which organic substances are deposited either in the form of calcium carbonate or hydrated silica. Now the spicules are classified by different ways. On the basis of the material, uh, their form, the spicules are mainly of two types, calcareous spicules and ciliaceous spicule. Uh, the first one, the calcareous spicule that is made up of calcium carbonate and that is a characteristic feature of the class calcarea. Whereas the ciliaceous spicule that is made up of silica and that is the characteristics of the class hectatinellida. Now, on the basis of the sites, the spicules are the classified into two categories, megasclears and microsclears. Megasclears are large sites, visible to the naked eye, and constitute chip skeletal framework of the sponges. Whereas the microsclear, they are smaller in size and occur throughout the mesenchyme. Now, spicules are base classified according to the number of their axes and rays. On that basis, the spicules are classified as monaction, triaction, tetraction, polyaction, sphere, and last one, desma. The first one, monaction. These spicules grow along the single axis. You see here, these are the single axis. And this may be straight or needle-like, maybe rod-like structure, maybe curved. The ends may be pointed in some cases, knob or the hook-like structure. When the monaction that contain one pointed end, that is called the monactinal monaction. When there are two ends and the ends are pointed, then it is known as diactinal monaction. An amphidisc in this vacuole, presence of disc on their ends, that is an amphidisc. Now, triaction. Triaxial spicules has three axes that cross one another at right angle to produce a six rays. And you see here six rays, and this is a characteristic features of the hexatinylator. And the tetraxon spicules consist of four rays radiating from the central point, subsequently by loss of rays, maybe so many rays, maybe one day. They may secondarily become three, two, or one day. The first one is uh, calthrops. Here the four rays are presence and four rays are almost equal. Whereas triens, when one ray is elongated and other uh, rays are short, the rays that is elongated, that is known as a rhabdom, whereas the uh, a sm a small short-ended rays, that is known as a cladum. And when one of the three cladi is lost, then it is known as dyani. And when one of the four rays is lost, then it is known as a triadiate. Now, polyaxon. In this type of the spicule, several equal rays radiate from the central point. They are common among the glass sponges. The polyaxons are divided into two categories, having small center with long rays and having large center with small rays. The first one, small center and long rays, oxyester, that have pointed rays. Strong lysters, that is rounded ends, and tile lysters, knob rate, whereas the large centers and small rays that consist of the spheraster with definite rays, whereas the steraster that contain uh, less rays, that is a reduced in number. And then spheres, the surrounded bodies where grow occur in the concentric manner around the center. And the last one is the desma. So it consists of minute monaxon, triradiate or detraction spicule that called crepis, on which layer of silica have been deposited irregularly. Desmos are named from the shape of the crepes as monocrepid, tricrepid, and tetracrepid. 
they are usually united into a network and form reticulated skeleton that is known as lysis state. Now, how the spicules are the forms? The spicules are secreted by specialized cell. That cell is a mesenchyme cell that is known as a scleroblast. When scleroblast secrete a calcareous spicule that is known as a calcoblast, while producing a ciliated spicule that is known as silicoblast. So this is a secretion of the monoxyl spicules that is formed because of incomplete division of scleroblast cells that give him, uh, rise to binucleate scleroblasts. When the nuclei begin to move away from each other, then calcium carbonate from sea water begins deposited in between the space of the two nuclei in the form of an axis. As the calcium carbonate needle between two nuclei begins to lengthen, the cell divides into two. The cells divides into two. Uh, one is a founder cell. You see here, this is a founder cell. And there is another cell. That cell is a thickener cell. When the spicules is fully formed, both the ends detach and wind it up into mesenchyme. So this is a formation of the tyrodate spicules uh, that is secreted by uh, three scleroblast cells, which uh, come to lie in a triangular manner. And when uh, fourth ray is developed from the junction of the three, then it is known as a tetradiate uh, spicule. Formation is the same, just uh, like uh, monoxyl spicules. Now, what are the functions of the spicules? Spicules uh, form a firm framework of the body and give support to the soft body of the sponges. They provide definite shape to the body. And what are the importance of the spicules? Phylum porifera is classified on the basis of shape, size, structural, and chemical composition of spicules, plus calcarea that have calcarea spicule, plus hexatin leader that have six red silicia spicule plus hemospongia that have ciliacea spicules and spongin fibers also. Protect uh, the body from disintegration by the wave actions of the water. They will keep open the dermal ostia and the canals throughout the life. These are the reference books, modern textbook of geology in vertebrates, Arul Kotpal, in vertebrate geology, uh, Patik Baran Mandal, in vertebrate geology, Jordan and Varma, but biology of animals, uh, Ganguly, Shina, Odigani. And maximum uh, figures are collected from Google image. Thank you, everybody.